In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the story ReZero starting life in another world, and specifically an in-depth character analysis on the main character or protagonist himself, Natsuki Subaru, one of my personal favorite MCs, but with places to be and people to see. Without further ado, let's hop into it. But first, let's take a look at Subaru's background. Subaru is an 18-year-old that was born and raised in Japan. He stands at a height of about 5'5 with black hair that he got from his dad and brown eyes that he got from his mother, although a lot of people think they're intimidating or just outright creepy. His father is Natsuki Kanichi. Kanichi is a very happy-go-lucky and outright optimistic person who's well-liked by everyone in the town, a very popular person known as a family man and was somebody who could do it all. His mother is Natsuki Noko more known for being on the quiet and reserved side of the spectrum, but a very helpful and caring person. For some insight into the relationship, they both cared deeply about Subaru, and according to the author, being very worried for his safety upon his sudden disappearance, going as far as to launch a police investigation into where he is, only praying for a safe return. Subaru actually idolized his father growing up, being someone he looked up to the most. Subaru was inspired by him at a very young age. So when Subaru was at his youngest, he was actually smarter and more physically in shape than the rest of his peers around elementary school, and was also well liked by his peers. But upon entering middle school, he was met with the grim reality that his peers were coming into their own. His classmates were growing into what they would later become, some outpacing him in academics becoming smarter than him, while some just being more physically gifted than him, and most likely more athletic than he could imagine. This realization would actually turn him away from trying to be like his dad, outright crushing his dreams of aspiring to be like him. And this is why the Subaru we meet whenever he's being transported to another world was otherwise a shut-in who was pretty non-social and preferred to stay at home and play games as much as he could, not caring much for other people's opinions or his own self-improvement, going so far as to cutting his own hair so he wouldn't have to go out and see a barber. So that's some background into Subaru and that gives us some insight into what kind of person he is and why he is the way that he is now. Next we're going to be taking a look at some of his powers and abilities and then after that personality. So let's hop right into the powers and abilities. So let's start off with Subaru's trademark known ability. Upon entering the kingdom of Luginica, out of nowhere he was met with this power. Something he didn't earn, he just simply has and was bestowed upon him. The return by death. Every time he dies he will return to a checkpoint at which he can't control. And whenever he returns he retains the memory of the past life that he had. And while there are pros to this, you know, like not completely dying, as well as being able to gather intel on the future and change it to how he sees fit, or having a better outcome for what happened previously, Obviously. There are definitely some cons to this, however. Not only does he retain memories that he can change, he also has the memory of him dying as well as others around him. And at times in the series, you see what this does to his mind. And to be frank, it's nothing pretty. Subaru also has the authority of sloth, or the witch factor of sloth, if you will. These abilities are known to be had by people who are sin archbishops, or the witch of sins. And this goes hand in hand with return by death, but it also gives him access to other abilities. He has access to dark magic that quite literally is darkness that can envelope somebody else's mind, making them go mad, insane, crazy, as well as the power of the unseen hands. And we've seen this many times in the story, not just by him, but by other characters. And yes, it is exactly as it sounds. You have the power to control these unseen hands that no one else can see except people with the power of sloth, or the authority of sloth. And this ability would catch most people by surprise. If you're someone who doesn't have the authority or witch factor of sloth, these things can take you by surprise and they're also really powerful. This really does make him a character to be reckoned with, although he does have his faults. At times he might not be the brightest, as well as simply just not knowing how to train it. Because there aren't too many people you can hang around that can teach you how to use unseen hands. And one other thing, although this isn't a power or ability, he does have that telephone phone with that flash on and he has used it quite a few times and since that's something unique to him I figured I'd throw that in there even though it's not that big of a deal now let's take a look at Subaru's personality originally before being summoned to Lagunica he was someone who would take the easy route whichever way was easiest he would always seek out someone who preferred to do the bare minimum but over time as the story progresses he's become a more stubborn person with stronger resolve after facing many problems over and over again quite literally because of his return by death ability Subaru isn't someone who can exactly read situations very well but when necessary He's very quick-witted and can pull something out of his sleeve at a moment's notice. He almost has a subtle smartness that could easily go unnoticed. He is also a very humorous person that knows how to lighten up other people's days as well as himself, even at the worst of times. But don't get it twisted, he is still a very serious individual when it needs to be done. Subaru presents himself as this very confident, optimistic person that believes everything will work out, regardless of the situation that they're in now. And this is a character trait very similar to his father. Although at times, and actually a lot of times, this does help him, underneath the surface there's something else going on. He's actually a fairly insecure person from always comparing himself to others, specifically his father's, but not just limited to him. Sim Similar to how he was jealous of the night, believing they thought themselves higher than others or stuck up. And while there may be truth to this, he immediately jumped to conclusions without ever talking to him. And you wonder why that is. Because he's jealous. And also Julius was talking to him.
Familia. Don't do that. But regardless, this false bravado is actually just a mirror image of his father he presents to the people of the New World, the thing that he gave up on in his past life. But hold on, this sounds like a bad thing. It isn't necessarily a bad thing. Over time, this fake bravado, fake confidence has slowly become a part of his character as he slowly overcomes obstacles. This fake confidence turns into real confidence as he achieves more and truly does become more like his father that he strives to be. Anyways, Subaru is also the type of person to care deeply about his friends and companions and will walk through fire and hell and whatever the world has to offer to help someone he considers to be close. Even if it's obvious that he shouldn't, he still tries and that's very commendable. He's the definition of a ride or die and to be frank, has indeed done both. Subaru also has a characteristic that I personally would call selfishly selfish. He does things to help others regardless of if they want him to, both to help the other person and make himself feel better. And although this usually does come with good intention, it has been known in the past to backfire on him and having the exact opposite of effect of what he intended. But still, the relationships with the people he cares for, such as his love interest with Amelia, or other people he considers just as close and absolutely adores like Rim, Ram, Otto, Beatrice, I won't leave you out Beatrice, they all drive his character development to become a stronger and better person person for their sake and for his own. Subaru isn't the type of person to really look for danger, but if it involves any of these people that he cares about, he will throw himself head first, whether he's blind or not. Subaru isn't exactly a self-starter or a hard worker. On his own, that is. But with other people involved, he becomes one of the most hardworking individuals in the entire series. Overall, I would say Subaru is a perfect main character with a great backstory, as well as character development over time. He really makes the story what it is, and overall is just a joy to watch. His ability to figure things out over time through trial and error is just amazing. And the fact that he went into this world without questioning a single thing is just humorous in itself. He may be an addict, specifically an Amelia addict, but I absolutely love the man. And I can't wait to see more of how his story unfolds. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about Subaru. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed or found it informative. And feel free to subscribe and post notifications if you're interested in seeing more content. And I'm sure this is not the last character analysis I will do. Regardless, it's been Shriz, and this was the Natsuki Subaru character analysis, ReZero. Hope to catch you in another video.